Hello everyone and welcome to your Simply Gone Imposter tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to use the Simply Gone toolset to create an imposter in Maya and then import it into Unreal Engine. Of course, the Simply Gone UI is pretty universal across all the software that we support, with a couple of exceptions. So you should be able to follow along with this tutorial using any of our supported programs. First, we're going to go over exactly what an imposter plane is. An imposter plane is a reduction algorithm that works best on assets such as fences, gates, trees, or other thin types of geometry. Assets like these don't often reduce well with traditional methods, sometimes with extremely thin areas disappearing after the reduction. The imposter tool in Simply Gone will reduce an asset's mesh down to one or more 2D planes, which can then be viewed at a distance. So let's go over how we can use this function in Maya. Here we have a fence asset, the one that was recently used in our Walk in the Park video. Not too many polygons, but still, when we're far away, we can optimize this asset nicely. First, let's go to the Simply Gone window in Maya, and we're going to select Billboard Cloud. By the way, we'll be covering the Billboard Cloud for Vegetation feature in depth in a separate tutorial, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Back to the matter at hand, there are plenty of settings at our disposal here, but we're going to keep things simple. Firstly, we're going to enable Favor Vertical Planes. Because this asset is relatively flat and most of the geometry is aligned vertically, we don't really need any horizontal planes. Next, we'll want to make sure that this is two-sided, as we'll want to be able to view this asset from behind as well. We're not going to use visibility weights for this one, as everything here is quite visible. Enabling this feature would ensure that the most visible parts would be getting the most attention, but it wouldn't do anything for an asset like this. The next thing we're going to set is the texture size. Ultimately, this depends on the size of the asset and the distance you'll be viewing it from. If you have an incredibly large object in the far distance of a scene, for example, you may want to bump this up a little bit, but you don't want to set this too high if the asset is quite small or only seen from very far away, as that will just waste texture budget. For this gate, a 512 by 512 should be more than enough. Next, we'll choose what materials channels are cast. Color we need. Of course, in other programs like Blender and Max, these channel names may differ, but the logic is the same here. Transparency we definitely need as there are see-through areas of this mesh, such as the holes in the gate, that we'll want to keep. Uh, we don't need ambient. We also don't need specularity nor incandescence. Normal we can keep, although this is not 100% necessary if the intention is to use this kind of asset at this kind of distance, but we'll keep it on here just to show you. So now let's start the process by selecting the Simply Gone button at the bottom. And there we go, it's done. Now, sometimes the material properties might not be set up correctly in Maya, and as you can see, we have some artifacts here. These artifacts are caused by the specularity being set too high. So I'm going to head down to the attribute editor, and after selecting the billboard cloud, we'll turn the specularity down. When this asset is brought into your target engine like Unreal or Unity, you'll have to map the material for the imposter to some good settings that match the original in a good way. As you can see when they're side by side, the look of the imposter plane asset is very similar, and it has been reduced very nicely. And now the imposter plane has only 10 polygons, which is a huge reduction from the original, which had about 11,000 polys. Interestingly, if you zoom out, the billboard cloud asset actually ends up looking better than the original fence asset. That shows just one of the many benefits of reducing meshes like this. Okay, let's bring this into a game engine. We'll be using Unreal in this instance and importing it as the last LOD option in the chain for viewing at a very high distance. I've already got the asset open here, so I'll head to LOD settings, LOD import, and then import LOD level four. Now I'll allocate the file we exported from Maya. And there we go, we've successfully imported the last LOD chain. Now this might be using the reduced mesh, but it's not using the correct textures that the Simply Gone tool would have created. To do this, I'm going to create a new material slot that will only show when the LOD4 mesh is being shown. Now I'll quickly create a new material and plug in the exported textures. In the LOD picker, I'll select the LOD4 mesh that we just imported. And then in the material slot selector, I'll select our low resolution billboard material. And as simple as that, we have a working billboard imposter as the last LOD chain in our mesh setup. So there you have it, let's round up what we've done today. 
First, we reduced a mesh using Billboard Cloud Reduction in Maya using the Simplicon tools, and then we exported it into Unreal Engine to use as the last LOD chain in a mesh. We hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, and if you're looking for more information about Simplicon's suite of tools, head to simplicon.com. Hit the subscribe button and follow our social media channels for more Simplicon tutorials.